Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tim with Tez Demo. We're back with part two of our dictionary data type, advanced data type, if you will, for our Python for Selenium web driver uh, tutorials for beginner course. If you haven't had a chance, go back and look at video one of uh, the dictionary advanced data types. We talked about a variety of key, uh, uh, keywords when it comes to dictionaries. Uh, we introduced dictionaries as a whole that they use key value pairs, how dictionaries as a whole are mutable but the, uh, the keys themselves are immutable whereas the value is uh, immutable so go back and check that out we talked about the in keyword we talked about the not in keyword we talked about the delete keyword we talked about how to add values uh, to an empty dictionary and we talked about how to actually change a value of a dictionary of part one of the uh, dictionary advanced data type here at test demi test automation for beginners course now, in part two, we're going to dig deep, deep, deep. We're going to go deep looking at a variety of methods because you have to understand these methods when it comes to a lot of these data types. So when you begin to use Selenium uh, WebDriver to actually write your page object models, write your base test cases, write your actual test scripts, you'll be able to understand how to manipulate these data types and this dictionary based on a variety of these different methods to actually write more profound, maintainable, strong, and solid test automation test cases. So let's get started, shall we? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's jump right into it. So we're back at our same um, comments that we have from the previous part one of the uh, dictionaries um, uh, series here. Go back and check that out if you haven't. But if you notice, we uh, still have our person dictionary, which we created from the previous uh, part one of this dictionary advanced data type. We have our person dictionary. Remember the, uh, the keys, name, address, business are the keys within this person dictionary. Uh, let me just add this here. Key. Uh, let's add this here. Let's say value. Just so it's easier for you to follow. Okay. All right. All right. So if you notice, uh, this corresponds, this key value corresponds with this pairs that we have here. Name is key. Value is John Smith. Name is address. Value 123 Main Street. Business is key. Values 321 Corp. All right, so we print. Let's go ahead and print the person dictionary um, from previous. As you can see here, again, part of my demarcation is for the clean code that we want to write when we begin to actually uh, do more methods uh, examples. Our key, our dictionary, person dictionary has been printed out. So let's go to look at a, key, a few of the methods for part two of today's uh, video. Uh, dictionary methods, right? We're gonna look at the key method. So what does the key method do? Let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, comment out this part of code. I just cre created it so we, our videos can be more efficient. All right, so if you look at here for the key method, you see, uh, I wrote a print statement here that says in the string, it says the person dictionary consists of the following key value pair. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to um, print the actual person, right, dictionary. Uh, I, I went in and passed an empty string to the print function here so we can have a space in between our code that's going to be outputted to the screen and we're going to say the person dictionary keys are so this is where we're actually going to pass the key method uh, function a uh, key method uh, yeah uh, key method if you will so let's go to say person dictionary and we're going to hit that remember the that when we do the data it brings up all our methods within this object uh, this person you can see we have different methods so we're going to start off with the keys all right so we're going to say keys and we're just going to go ahead and print this out it's going to print out the actual keys only all right so take a look at this here based on this uh, block of code. The person dictionary consists of the following key value pairs, name, John Smith, address, blase, and business, so forth. Now you can see here the person dictionary keys are, so now if you notice the dictionary keys method actually outputted this to our screen, just the keys only. The name is a key within it from our dictionary. The address is a key from our dictionary. And also the business is a key from my dictionary. So if you wanted to know what your keys are, you can go ahead and use the key method. Now the next uh, block of code here is going to be uh, for the value. So this is going to be the same process, but in this case, we're actually going to look just at the values. So I'm going to go ahead and print again the person dictionary out. And now we're going to go ahead and print, use the person dot. Again, notice here, we're going to look at the values method. Uh, let's go ahead and print that out. Uh, and if you notice here for this block of code is the same uh, process here, the line of thinking, the same logic. 
The person dictionary consists of the following key value pairs, as we're used to seeing from our defined dictionary or initialized dictionary from above. Now, if you go ahead and look at the actual, it says the person the person dictionary values, just the values. You can see it says dictionary values, the method that we passed here, person that methods um, that was passed to this person function. It printed out John Smith, which is the first value, printed out 123 Main Street, the second value, and the third value is 321 Corp Street. 321 Corp, pardon me. So now that was the, uh, we looked at the key method, we looked at the value method. Now let's look at the item method. You guys should, are probably now used to, and you can probably guess what I'm going to be doing next year. But this is a great practice, right? Just go ahead and practice these uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, examples. You can actually get better. Uh, so let's go ahead and pass the person that items. You can see here, items method. We're going to go ahead and print this out. And in this case, uh, you can see that the person dictionary consists of the following key value pairs. It shows out the entire pairs. But now when we pass this uh, items method, you can see it printed out the dictionary items. But if you notice, it actually passed them into, put uh, put them in within the dictionary, or actually this list, but it actually put them into what's called a tuple. We're going to look at that later in our next uh, videos. You can see here, this items were put into this particular tuple here. And you can see the name, John Smith. You can see this actual pair here. That's the item. Another item, that's the first item. Second item is address and the actual value. The third one was the actual business key and the value for that particular key. All right. So now let's look at, let's look at this next uh, method, which is called the pop method. And if you guys remember the list, um, uh, the list data type we looked at in previous few videos, we talked about the pop method. When you're talking about the pop method, what the pop method does, it pops the actual last item from that um, data type you pass. So if it's a list, it's going to pop the last item from that list container. Same thing with the pop method for the dictionary. It's going to pop the last value. And if you guys remember, if you go back and look, uh, our dictionary consists. Uh, okay, let's do this. Let's just print out dictionary first. Okay, so that's our dictionary. Now let's go ahead and pass the. Um, let's make our code a little cleaner here to follow. Let's go ahead and pass the. Um, yeah. So let's do this. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and run the pop method. Let's go person dot pop. All right, so now we're going to print the person. So it's going to first of all print the entire, entire dictionary, uh, the full entire uh, uh, dictionary, the keys and values. And actually, we're going to pop, uh, no, not pop item, sorry, pop. We're going to go ahead and pop the last value uh, there. We're going to go ahead and pass uh, the actual person uh, method to the print function, a person dictionary. So let's go ahead and print that out. Uh, here it is. Um, pardon me. Uh, you can see. Uh, Okay, let's uh, let's actually just look at this last one here. Uh, if you notice here, we've printed out the pop method. So it, it printed out um, the entire dictionary. Yes, the name, address, and business. Um, oh, pardon me. So I didn't I didn't actually pop. So what what do I want to pop? That's that's actually what we want to do. Uh, that's what I want to do. So let's go ahead and pop. In this case, you actually have to pass. Pardon me, that's my mistake with the list. You put the pop in it pops out the last item but in this case you have to actually pass the value so let's go ahead and pop the let's say let's go ahead and pop the address out of this okay now now we can print it out so let's go ahead and pass that you're going to see it there and if you notice we passed the uh we popped the address out and you can notice here we printed out the actual person dictionary the entire dictionary we popped the address here and now you can notice uh, we, we we printed out the person dictionary again you can notice on this final last item that was printed out of this dictionary, the address was popped. Same uh, thing that goes with the uh, item, uh, pop item method. Uh, let's go ahead and print out the entire dictionary. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, comment these ones out for the previous one. So uh, print the entire dictionary. We can run the uh, pop method. We can say person that pop item, right? And now in this case, I don't think we have to actually pass an item we want to pop. It's just actually going to pop out the last item. So that's the difference between a pop. You have to actually pass the actual argument or the option, the key you want to uh, pop. Uh, but with the pop item, it just naturally pops out the last item, which is that key value pair. So let's go to pass the uh, person I, uh, dictionary to the person function, to the print function. And if you notice here by default, well, we passed out our, we printed out our dictionary under the pop item method. And now when we pass the pop item method, we printed out the person after you've popped it. You can notice the business, which was the last one, the business key and the 321 uh, corp value was popped out. 
Okay, let's look at a few more here. We're going to look at the copy method. Uh, so with the copy, let's go ahead and print this. Uh, again, let me just go ahead and uh, keep commenting these out. Oops, pardon me. Uh, let's just comment this out here. Oops, what is it doing? Oops, pardon me. Gonna get this fixed. Uh, okay. Comment that out. Comment this out. Okay. All right. So let's go look at the copy method here. Copy method. What we want to do is we want to run person. Uh, so with the copy method, copy method, it's like you're copying, or you want to create a new dictionary. As now, as opposed to creating a dictionary from scratch, you can just copy it. So just remember the same dictionary. So let's do the copy method. And so what we want to do is you want to actually say uh, what's the name of your new uh, your new dictionary? So we can just say new person. Let's just call it a new person dictionary, right? Uh, and we're gonna assign it to uh, we're gonna uh, assign the person that copy method to the new person dictionary uh, variable here. And now we're just gonna print that new person dictionary out, and you're gonna notice it's actually gonna copy that, right? So you see here. Um, we just printed out the new person dictionary, which which is printed out here. It's pretty much pretty simple. Just we had the person dictionary, we copied it, and we passed it to the variable new person dictionary variable, um, and we uh, we assigned it to that variable, and we now printed out the new uh, dictionary, which is new person dictionary variable. And it was the same thing. Now, if you want to add some more items to the dictionary, uh, you can be uh, more than welcome to do that. All right, let's look at the last one for today's video. Uh, I wanted to make this kind of short. Uh, based on our uh, uh, last few videos, which have been um, pretty extensive. Uh, the last one we want to look at is now the clear method. So we've actually have our dictionary. Let's go ahead and just clear uh, this dictionary that we actually uh, now uh, created. So let's go ahead and just run the, um, let's say the new, uh, new, oops, where is it? Uh, new, new underscore person, uh, okay dictionary dick okay uh, let's go ahead and just run the dot clear okay it's not picking it up one moment let's see let's just okay let's go with our oh that's because I commented it out okay I see that's my fault uh, let's just go ahead and uncomment that hopefully it should maybe pick it up now there you go it picks it up okay great so let's go ahead and run the dot clear method to it right and what we want to do is all we have to do here is go ahead and just um, print this out so it should actually it should now be an empty string, right? Because now we clear, we're clearing, we're telling, we're passing this clear method and saying, okay, go ahead and clear out this new dictionary that, we, that was previously uh, previously copied or created. So it's going to go ahead and clear that out. And if you notice, we printed out the new person dictionary, which we passed to the print function, and we have an empty dictionary. So guys, that's it for today's video. We looked at eight methods. Uh, for dictionary, uh, go back and practice, 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 play with a lot of the new methods, uh, the other methods that can be found within the dictionary uh, data type. We played, we uh, looked at the key method, we looked at the value method, we looked at the pop method, which you have to actually pass the, uh, the actual key to. We looked at the pop item, which actually pops the last key value pair from your dictionary you pass to it. We looked at the copy method, copying new methods, and the clear method to clear your dictionary is going to pass an empty string if you now print it out. So that's it. Practice, 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 and I will see you in the next video. Peace. We out. Much love. Holla.